Badasses of World War II, Part 3. Have you ever heard of the Hexen der Nacht, also translated as the Night Witches of the Soviet Union during World War II? Well, don't worry about it, but there were few units that the Germans both feared and hated more than the Night Witches of the Soviet Union. These young ladies. You see, the Night Witches would fly this, the Polipukov Po-2 aircraft. Now, typically, it's designed for training because it's made of wood and canvas. Wood and canvas. It was modified to carry a bomb under each wing, and what made these women so feared is they flew only at night in these planes, and then later some more, mod more uh, modern ones, dropped their bombs, and under our complete radio silence. But because they're wooden canvas, they couldn't be detected by radar, and the only warning the Nazis had that they were coming was the distinct whooshing sound that they attributed to the witch riding her broom, hence Night Witches or Hexen der Nacht. The Night Witches hold their existence to this woman, Marina Raskova, hero of the Soviet Union and holder of the Order of Lenin. She's considered the Amelia Earhart of Russian female aviation. In fact, opened her own school just so that she could train female pilots to later become Night Witches. You see, these women were so successful in their mission, they're responsible for dropping over 23,000 tons of bombs on the Nazi German forces and flying over 3,000 missions combined. This is rather unheard of, especially given the technological disadvantages they were given, but you could really say never has a unit done more with less than the Night Witches. Many Night Witches continuously distinguish themselves, such as Yadovkia Rokovich. And I apologize for any of my Russian viewers out there, I have not practiced my Russian in a very long time. She is also a hero of the Soviet Union and holder of the Order of Lenin and personally flew over 1,000 missions for the Night Witches. Or Maria Dolina, who flew close to 300 missions herself for the Night Witches, also a hero of the Soviet Union and Order of Lenin holder. You see, these women did really amazing things, and nearly all of them were volunteers. In fact, Dolina forged a birth certificate to make herself two years older to be eligible to become a Night Witch. They were so determined to help defend their country that they were willing to put themselves at risk with bare minimum equipment, put it, put it bluntly. However, over 25 of them earned the Hero of Soviet Union status, one of the highest honors in World War II that the Soviet Union could bestow upon anybody who fought for them. It's just another example of how World War II is littered with actual badasses.